Hello and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the next episode of Commonwealth of United Stars. If you are enjoying the series, do remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And we are in the efforts of clearing out Upper Silesia and ensuring our safety. We don't know where the enemy has gone to so far, but we're going to go searching for it. Um, and in the meantime, we're going to reopen the trading lanes. So we have to change our strategy and we have to change that we gave too little of a actual defense to this planet. And we'll be, we'll be adjusting that. So the show is going in five. We're going to have you head towards waypoint 13. And then we also have, yeah, we're having a waypoint 13. We're going to keep the escort carrier there for now as well. Uh, we need to restart our mineral transportation. So that's what we will do. So I'm going to begin to load all minerals until full. Take that to Alpha Centauri. Then unload all minerals. Refuel. Go back to Upper Silesia. And then cycle those orders. And then... Uh, for our, I need to be moving in some. Yeah, go back to our Centauri, refuel, resupply. And I'll get you a new order shortly. And I also want to get uh, some additional Duranium because our Duranium stockpiles right now, if you can tell, are in a real bad way. So go for you. You need to get a Mining Governor. Oh, good. And then over on Nueva Belize, we need to get some proper mines moved in because we've got a lot of people that we can actually put into the mines but not a lot of mines actually on the world so let's order that up i'm gonna have griffin supply it 60 of those okay 60 mines on the way and uh, hopefully that will be opened up and now let's look for these goddamn alien scum <laughs> uh, oh we found them i think They're out there. They're out there, that's for sure. But the choice are just too slow to be able to catch them. All right, head back to A1. We're going to keep you in system for now. We're also salvaging some of these wrecks, which is good. Enemy ship located that way. Okay, we're going to send over our strike fighters from the escort carrier. Uh, so you are orbiting you, Griffin. Detach, head towards uh, waypoint, and we're also gonna uh, we're gonna wait to send another shore squadron in. But we're gonna send in the strike fires, and I'm going to make sure that they have their actives on. Okay, looks like the contacts are very very close here. Uh, give me information, please. Give me lost contact one month. They were right there. Uh, let's continue waypoint 15. We will find them. Because I can't leave the system with most of our forces until we do find them. Okay, we found them. We found them. Contact established. That means that we can keep a constant lock on them. Uh, the Shore Squadron 5 can now begin their intercept. Head towards contacts at full speed, and for our uh, strike squadron, they can begin to follow those contacts as well. Uh, but do not follow like that close. Follow, I don't know, like a million kilometers away. Follow at a million kilometers, and get ready to fire ordnance. We're going to also sign those firing controls. We're going to sign that to fleet, and uh, I think we're going to go for the. Uh, the St. Counts in the classes. We're going to weaken that defense if possible. Assign that to the fleet. And then uh, we're going to split up the fire accordingly. Between both of these. Because we because we want to be able to properly hit them here. That's a three. And if we can destroy both of the Counts and class vessels here. We'll be in a very good way. Because that means we won't have any point defense. If we don't have any point defense. They're going to be in a bit of a problem. Okay, uh, so fleet sink fire on, and we're going to get a little bit closer and a little bit more into sensor range before we do engage. There we go. We've got a good lock on them right there. Uh, we are going to open fire fire controls. We're going to open fire fleet, actually. And missiles are away. Missiles are away. Here we go. Smash. 
One of them was destroyed, the other one did not uh, did not get destroyed, unfortunately. Uh, but we scored a successful hit. And then we're going to keep track of them until we can get these destroyers moved out and over. Here we go, we're following them across as they move somewhere else. I'm not sure where the hell they're moving to. But we are much, much faster, so we, we're not at risk here, our Shrek fighters. And our destroyers are moving as fast as they possibly can. What we could try and do, I've got an idea, is if we overtake them. So we're going to go to like waypoint 16, right? We're going to try and overtake them with our strike fighters. And then we're going to try and come in from the from from uh, below them. And that will force them to potentially go backwards. So strike fighters, we're going to move away, right? Move there. And then we're going to move to waypoint 17 and we're going to threaten them with waypoint 17 and force them to hopefully back themselves up yeah that's exactly what i want to see they head towards waypoint 18 and i'm going to keep the contacts in uh target range there we re-establish contact They've, uh, they're not they're not backing off again, which is kind of a problem, I'm not going to lie. They may think that the uh, destroyers are more of a more of a, more of a problem. Um, actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have my destroyers turn off their active sensors. Okay, they are, they're coming directly towards us. They should be able to see us at this range. Can they, can they not? That's waypoint 19. This is the part when our destroyers aren't fast enough to actually be able to catch up here. That's a waypoint 19. We want to force them backwards. It looks like we're not going to be able to do that. So we're just going to follow them. Follow them. This is 1006. With 1 million kilometers. Now, they may be retreating to that Aether Gate. I, I'm going to imagine that's what they're going to plan to do. George Caution 5 just stopped orders. God damn it. Why did you stop moving? Head towards the contacts as fast as possible, please. Come on. Yeah, and we're keeping within within range of them here, and we're just following them outwards. One of the sure squadron in the back continues to head towards them. <sighs> can do twenty minutes. Fine. Continuing to run away. Continuing to run away. They must be heading to the Wraith Gate right now. They must be. Insufficient fuel. Parent fleet. Oh crap. We've run out of fuel. Oh, we've lost contact. Okay. Uh, we need to bring the Artemis up here. Uh, that was my mistake. I should have checked the fuel amounts. Um, head up to Distract Fighter Squadron. And then I'm also going to order a part of the Shore Squadron to keep heading that way to make sure that they don't destroy those fighters, which could be a problem for us. So head up to Waypoint 19. Not Waypoint 19. Head up to uh, the Fighter Squadron. They may destroy them if we're not careful. And also, turn your access sensors on now because we need to be very, very scared. Okay, there we go. One mistake that I remember with our destroyers, the Starfall class, we put a. Yeah, we did put a res 10 on that. That's good. Okay, well, now we've got to wait. 
until the Artemis arrives. And I uh, can refuel them. And uh, that's going to take a little bit of time. I'm going to hope that they've just left. But uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's a bit of a problem if they haven't. Uh, okay. Uh, land. Trek Fighter Squadron 4. Land back on here. That you should begin refueling. And rearming. There we go. You should all be refueled and rearmed. Yes, you are. Though the Artemis is in a very poor situation right now. So we're going to have you go refuel from Dortmund as quickly as possible. Uh, then we're going to have the Shore Squadron head. I'm going to leave three Achilles class vessels here. Send them to Dortmund for defensive purposes. And then we're going to have our escort carrier uh, return home. Once you're done, you're going to head back to House and Tour. You're going to reload, resupply, reload ordnance. Um, then we have a Destroyer Squadron, if I remember myself correctly. We have a Destroyer Squadron who is orbiting Dortmund. Then we're going to send House and Tory for doing their job. They are done. And uh, Destroyer Squadron 5. No, Destroyer, yeah, Destroyer Squadron 5, that's Lysander class that needs to come back. Lysander, we're going to send back to refuel. From Griffin. 31 days. You got 39% of the fuel you left. You should be able to reach that just fine. Okay, we'll call this a victory. We'll call this a victory. Well, that's what I've decided to do anyway. What happened? Oh, you completed all this. You're actually orbiting Dortmund now, which is good. Now they're on their way. We've got our mineral transport groups coming in. We've also got our freighters actually coming in now. Uh, convoy escorts providing security, and we are beginning to salvage all of that wreckage, as we can see here, uh, of the alien crafts, including galasite and other very valuable materials, which we can make use of. If I have a look at my salvager, we have collected all of these resources and a bunch of different engines and drives and stuff that we can make use of. The enemy is ahead in terms of engine technology, that is for sure. I think I'm loading that again. I'm keeping I'm keeping a watch. I'm keeping a watch because I'm not I'm not not hundred percent confident in the current situation here. So I'm keeping a watch. Now, how's our civilians coming along here? We have quite a few ships. Uh you are moving colonists, you're moving trade goods. Uh, you are moving trade goods. Did we get the resources? Uh, yeah, we are. Okay, those mines are at least being moved somewhat. And we're also moving infrastructure. Where was the infrastructure being moved? I forget. But we're not going to supply infrastructure from you anymore. So delete that supply. Uh, Benetrix is also doing okay. We have a ship in orbit. I think that is going to be our defense ship. We need to get maintenance facilities moved out there. And we also need to sort our wealth situation out, which is causing crippling debt. Um... We were close to being able to accomplish it, uh, but we're not going to. I think I'm going to hold off on production of... Uh, no, don't stop producing flashes. Flash centers we can keep building. But ordnance factories, Anubis-class vessels, and research facilities. Research facilities we can start. We can keep building Anubis-class vessels, but we're going to halt some of our construction to get our wealth back to where I would like it to be. Uh, did we just finish up jump stabilization? No, that was for too EV Lacerte. However, we are going to be colonizing up and towards as a Sextanus here. Um, and jump stabilization number three can begin to stabilize into EV Lacerte on that other end. Okay, they've arrived, they've repaired, they completed orders, they're in orbit of that station now. We sure should be able to begin repairing some of these vessels that are, that are currently in orbit that do need some repairs. Uh, middle and class, HMS Brilliant needs a repair, for example. And... Yeah, completely all this repaired. And in terms of new ships, because we need to replace the current... Um, where the sun drop was. We're going to have some new ships coming on along the way. We've got a lot of ships being produced right now. Um, and that is really eating into our Galasite stockpiles. Which is again why I'm focusing on trying to get as much Galasite as we possibly can. Uh, complete shore leave, complete shore leave. Arrowhead is has exceeded uh, time. Yeah, that is going to be the Lax Squadron that needs to head back to Dortmund. Refuel. Um, that's 4,000 tons. And then we left 
on the woman's 26,000. Yeah, we're going to need to be able to actually be able to maintain that. But if we look at our salvager, how's our salvager doing? Pretty much done. We're going to have you head back to Alpha Centauri, unload all ship components, unload all minerals, then head back to 61 Signy, and you can continue your work. But we've got a lot of different stuff there. If you actually have a look here, and the arrowheads will be able to make it back. If you have a look at uh, the situation in regards to the salvager, we have a ton of transport items. Um, we even we got one of our engines back. We got a bunch of galassite and stuff. And there's a lot more wrecks that we can salvage. Are you kidding me? You're kidding me. The lack squadron is like that. Fine. I'm going to just SM that because I'm not wasting a tanker to do this. And I feel like they could just be they could they could they could probably make their way there just fine. SM refuel it. There we go. Now, um in terms in terms of our freighters, because we did just finish these freighters up, we're going to have them uh begin loading automated mines. And take them over to uh, Upper Silesia. Check the arranging, not important. Go over to Basilisk and unload those installations and head back to Alzantori and refuel. There we go. Again, we're kind of stretched thin in terms of our, our fleets, in terms of what, what we can do, but we're, we're, doing, we're making some progress. We're making some progress, and uh, that's going good for us. It's going good. Uh, once you're done, I guess you'll have to be done here. And then we got those extra intel points. Artemis completed orders and has arrived. Okay, now that the Artemis has arrived, what is your current uh, deployment? Okay, you're pretty good. We're going to send you to Lower Silesia, but we're going to keep you on the Lower Silesian jump point there to just guard um, the entrance ways in and out of the system, uh, importantly. And in terms of EQ Bugatti, we need to make sure we can sure up our defenses. We have obviously the escort carrier Apollo, but I'm not sure that's going to be enough around Benetrix. So we need to grow Benetrix as much as possible where we can. Um, obviously, that's not always possible, right? Military transport squadron completed orders. I believe that was moving uh, Garrison Division to Benetrix, as well as planetary defense forces. And as part of that as well, we're going to move more planetary defense uh, units, so more more uh, surface store weapons, anti-ship weapons. We're going to bring those over to uh, Upper Silesia and unload them onto Dortmund because those will provide us with a last, you know, a defensive capability if if we have to evacuate the system. Those surface store weapons will protect our ships in orbit, and uh, that's very valuable to me. The Artemis has arrived. And another thing that we didn't we, we we didn't yet do, if I go to Lower Silesia, um, not Lower Silesia, Upper Silesia, um, we don't have any uh, boys on uh, these guys, and that's kind of a problem. So, can I grab... Now, currently we have, right, um, the Lower Silesian Patrol, you are going to be replacing that ship. Right, you're gonna be replacing that ship. Um, you're orbiting Griffin. Orders jump to jump. Oh, you're in overhaul at the moment. Yeah, you are in overhaul, right? Right, so once you're done with overhaul, you will then move, move, take time, come back, interest them, jump. Wait, is your orders all screwed up? Because you'll overhaul, you'll do that, you'll then take a thousand days to wait, you'll then. Standard transit after a thousand days. Interesting jump. Yeah, you're you're screwed. You you you're screw you screwy up. You screwy up. Wait until you're overhauled. Once you're overhauled, we'll sort you out. But no, we need to reset that patrol system up again for that. That means we need new um new stuff. But once that's overhauled, we'll we'll send them over to the poison boys as well. Your garrison forces just finished up. And uh, we also need to send over a inter-system mineral transport to Basilisk. So, do I have one of them? One of those? No, I do not. I'm going to have to order up a new maintenance, or not maintenance, but, but short-range Glossarius-class vessel, which is mineral transport. 
And our shipbuilding infrastructure right now is going pretty insane. But civilians are now returning and they're doing pretty well. We also need to guard this shipping area. That's for sure. Uh, that's been repaired and we will continue our repairs accordingly. Uh, repair. We'll apply this Merlin class, get that repaired, and then just keep incrementing along. Alloy has been repaired at Griffin, and we're going to repair the next ship, and that is going to be Achilles. The HMS Sulfur needs some repairs as well. HMS Starfall has completed her overhaul, so we're going to order HMS Starfall. By, by or, who is under command of HMS Starfall. We're going to order her to Lower Silesia. And she's going to sit on the Upper Silesian jump point. And we're also going to launch two sets of buoys, okay? So, load, size 5 launcher, LR1 buoy. We're going to load you here. You're going to launch one onto the Upper Silesian jump point. And then you're going to transit through. And you're going to take, I don't know, uh, 45 seconds. And you're going to fire another one at this jump point for detection purposes. And then you're going to go back through and you're going to sit there. And then once you sit there, we're going to set your orders up more appropriately. And then we'll have a replacement coming for you eventually here. Obviously, we don't have one yet, but we should be able to get a replacement coming through pretty well, pretty, pretty quickly. Um, we have two new Anubis class vessels ready to be moved. Now, in terms of our fuel, that's not looking too good. Uh, Tugs, um, I'm going to move those two Anubis classes to Tractorian Shipping Fleet. You're going to take that over to and you're going to unload that on to the Harvester Group. Destructive Ships. And Toy, we fuel. Another thing that I think that I made a mistake on, if I go to my, uh, Harvesters, is we went for production, we need mining people. We don't need production people, uh, which is was a mistake. So mining, mining, and uh, mining. This should improve us our, uh, our harvesting pretty significantly. So 6.4 million liters in Haitian Andromeda. We're also making 13, 14 million liters here. What if we add in a production guy? Is it production? 5%. You're making how much? 13.9, right? Then we had a mining guy. Doesn't appear to change that, but I think it's mining. So I'm going to go with mining. But we need to get more fuel harvesters over here to actually harvest this fuel and be able to ship it back relatively quickly. Uh, the irresistible needs new orders. I think, yeah, again, we're going to target like 2125 for when we're going to be replacing or, or, or putting these out of service. Uh, we're going to take you over to Zeta or EV Lacerte. I'm going to have you go through, explore through that jump point for me, please. Yeah, because you're, you're, you're in jump shock. But uh, did we deploy that boy? No, we did not deploy that boy. Of course we did not. Sit there. Deploy. Your ordnance. There we go. Then you're going to go through the jump point. Not that hard. And you're going to protect the shipping lane. In fact, you know what you're going to do? You're going to head over to, to, to A1 and you're going to sit there and you're going to protect that area because that patrol is a lot more important in my opinion because if they go to that lag range point, they can start hitting things. This kind of expanse here is relatively speaking unprotected, sure, but... It's hard to really, you know, uh, you need a lot of ships to cover the area um, in general. How is our uh, salvage going, by the way? Let me have a look. Bellophon. Transported item. Nuclear gas core, bunch of different things. We can begin to actually disassemble some of this. So, twin ultraviolet and a laser turret. That, well, that would have been... Did we use laser turrets? I guess it... No. Right? Did we, did we have a class that used the laser turret? Lysander... Uh, we have ultraviolet lasers, sure, but we don't have laser turrets. Unless I miss Well, there's a 20 centimeter in the ultraviolet laser turret. 
Uh, oh, no, we built those. Yeah, yeah, we built those. And then we built also built the size launchers as well, as well. And then we built those extra gas core engines. Uh, we can disassemble all of those, and we can disassemble all of these, and then we can also scrap... No, we're not going to scrap those. Um, we can't... We're not going to do anything with that. Commercial gas drive. But we can scrap those, and uh, my, like, mirror fusion. And then we just got to uh, wait on the increments again. Okay, you're just going to sit there. Anything that comes through, we'll be able to deal with it. Keep the staff full in that area in the lower Silesian. Patrol, though, again, I kind of have to be waiting on it. So HMS Brilliant's been repaired. We'll be able to finish up repairs on the next ship coming up here. Because uh, we do have quite a few ships that we do need to repair in orbit. So let's go for you. Get you repaired. Stock patterns and manuals are going down. We need to get our fuel supply up. Ideally, anyway, we need to get our fuel supply up. Okay, first scorching complete all isn't it? Now that was the one I wanted to cycle order move over stuff, but I forgot because I made a mistake. So load up automated mines, take that over to Obslesia, take that over to Basilisk. We fuel our Centauri and then uh, repeat. Okay, no rubber leaves. We're at 44 mines now, which is good. Uh, hopefully, we'll be producing more and more uranium. We also obviously need more ships to be built. We're just waiting on building ships right now, like a lot of ships. Uh, we'll at least have those new uh, those new vessels finishing up here now. Uh, Tugs completed orders, so that should now mean that we're producing a decent amount of fuel. Hydrogen drum, they're producing 15.5 million liters of fuel. It's not a lot, is it? 1.6 million liters. How much are we producing in Alpha Centauri? We're producing 12.7 million liters with seven harvesters. Okay. So we're producing about 30 million liters of fuel that is going directly to uh, to Griffin. I have to see if that's enough. Probably not. We'll probably need to expand that. Uh, production of the Belisarius, King Roger, and Thunderer class has completed. We're going to slow down on the ship production because we are kind of in a rough situation in terms of mining um and getting the duranium we need however with those three new star four class uh vessels completed we're going to order the hms belisarius to go over to the hs Romano, not hs Romano, go to um not there uh We want you... We're going to keep you here, and then I need to send... Okay, there's, yeah, this is what I'm going to do. I need to grab... Where is it? Uh... Some drop. Okay, not Starfall. I need you to go to the lowest Lysian area, right? And then we're going to set your orders up, and then we'll set the, that destroyer's orders up, and then that will be all good. That will be all good. Then, with these two other destroyers, I'm going to dispatch both of them um, to the system of Lower Sli or Upper Silesia, right? And then we are going to pull out those Achilles classes, and we're going to use these two to rotate between the two stars. And that should kind of work. What I need. Star Force completed orders and has arrived at where it needs to be arrived at. So I'm going to order HMS Starfall to in. Okay, in 93. Six. In 1076 days, you're going to head to leave the solar system and head back to Alpha Centauri to refuel, resupply, and begin your overhaul. After your overhaul is done, uh, or actually zero, we don't want any. Uh, you're going to refill resupply, begin an overhaul, and then you're going to head back to uh, uh, Lower Silesia, and you're going to go towards the jump point of Upper Silesia jump point, and then you're going to cycle those orders. That should work completely fine. Then we need to grab HMS Belisarius, and we're going to rename HMS Belisarius to have... Uh, upper Silesia 1B, uh, Patrol 1B. 
And Upper Silesia Patrol 1B is going to go... Uh, Commonwealth of Coast Guard, move that down. Now, HMS, uh, yeah, HMS will be, you're going to go here, and you, in a thousand, okay, so in a thousand days, six, in a thousand days, you're going to move to that. Then, after, you're going to go to Sydney, go to Lower Silesia, go to Upper Silesia, move to that location. That's going to be set up accordingly, after a thousand days. Then, in another thousand days, you're going to set up the following order, where you'll leave the system. Back to Alpha Centauri. We shall resupply. And overhaul. And then you're going to cycle those move orders. So that will mean that you'll come back. You'll, you'll go in a thousand seven days. You'll come back. And you'll stay there for a thousand days. And then you'll come back. And then you'll do that again. And then the Starfall. Will go finish its overhaul. And then come back as well. And that should all work out accordingly. So that is what we'll do. I just want to make sure that there's I can't count on inkling that there'll be a problem. No, no, no. They're all sitting there, which is good. Exactly what I wanted. This gives us 99 at Leonis, 4 billion kilometers across. Uh cold step ice fields. Uh oxygen atmosphere world. That's enough oxygen to support potentially an alien race. So that's very interesting. The Vigilance has completed her overhaul, so we're going to tend the Vigilance off to EV Lacerte and continue to survey new stars. I need to manage that Bellow for on the class vessel as well, just to be careful. Yeah, you, you are nearly full up, but we're getting a bunch, more, a bunch of Galasite back, which is always handy. Uh, Ship your fleets, those are four orbiting Dortmund. What was orbiting Dortmund? Oh, yeah, these two Starfall classes. We're going to rename this to Dortmund. Um, actually, we'll attach both. Detach and detach. The King Roger and the Thunderer. And we're going to put these under the Commonwealth Coast Guard for now. Uh, yeah, so Commonwealth Coast Guard. And we're going to put them under... Uh, where is it? Upper Silesia Planetary Defense Forces. So we're going to have a patrol fleet, and it's going to be called uh, Upper Silesia Patrol. Upper Silesia Patrols. Then we're going to have the King Roger here, and you are going to go to uh, Silesia 001, right? Like in terms of the first star. You're going to go there. Once there, in a thousand days, right? So, interesting jump to. In a thousand days, you are going to go here. So, we'll do nine, three, one, two, three, four, five, six. In a thousand days, you're going to intersystem jump to there, and then you're going to take, and then you're going to refuel resupply from the colony. And then you're going to go back to Upper Silesia 001, and you're going to repeat those orders. So you'll go there, you'll come back accordingly. So every thousand days, you will go back, come back, start it. Okay? Um, and actually, we're going to have you sort out so that you have an overhaul done as well. And then you're going to go back to uh, Silesia 001. Okay. So I'm going to move all this. Then we're going to have the Thunderer. You're going to sit above Dortmund. And then in a thousand days, you're going to go through the jump point towards Makara. And these guys will just be able to rotate for protection purposes. And you're going to sit above uh, you're going to go to there. I don't want nine. Let me move last. You're going to go there. And then... Um, so a thousand days, you're, you're, you're going to go to Makara. 
in a sit above Makawa, not Makawa, above up because there was a one, then you're going to uh, go back and refuel, resupply, and overhaul. However, to do that, you're going to need to spend another, you're going to wait another thousand days. Okay, another thousand days, and that. Yeah, so in a thousand days, when the when the other ship's back, you will come and start there. Then you'll spend that time sitting there, and in another thousand days, you'll come back. You will then overhaul, overhaul, uh, refuel, resupply, and then you will cycle those orders, and then they will they will swap. And so essentially, if we go to Abyssalia, what we will have is the King Roger. And the Thunderer will just cycle back and forth between the two stars and make sure that these are protected. And they will then be able to utilize the overhauling of this planet. But we need to make sure there's enough room for that. And so I'm going to order the Shore Squadron 002 that's orbiting Dortmund to head to Al Centauri. We feel load ordinance because these are combat destroyers, they're not patrol destroyers. They're not good enough to be able to patrol. And so we'll be leaving the solar system. But they have enough range to cover both of these very important areas here. And that protection is going to be very valuable to us, having the King Roger there, and having these vessels there, patrolling. Um, how is the salvager doing? And I hate that I have to micromanage the salvager so, so much. Uh, you are waiting, you are salvaging. So, continued. Is that everyone passes through this lag range point, and so we have to be very careful about that. Uh, the true site completes their overhaul. We're going to send the true sites off. So, order you around. We're going to send you over to uh, EV Lacerte, if possible. A, B, C, D, E. EV. Go. Yeah. Resistible completed orders. True Scorching completed orders. We found additional resources. And that just finished up its salvage. So, it should not have any more space left. Yes, it does not have any more space left. Head to Alpha Centauri, or Alpha Centauri, and you're gonna unload all unload all minerals, uh, ship components, refuel, then head back to 61 Signy. Um, and 61 Signy still has wreckage, right? I'm not I'm not crazy. It still still has wrecks. Uh, it doesn't. Does Alpha Centauri still have wrecks? It does not. Does, I would imagine the only place with Rex then would be Upper Silesia. Yeah, Upper Silesia is going to be the one with Rex. So you're going to head over to Lower Silesia. Don't say any Lower Silesia and then Upper Silesia, and then you should have a field day of just uh, grabbing on these wreckage. And uh, yeah, the shipping lanes have reopened, which is always lovely to see. As you can see here, uh, stockpiles are still going down, but we're dropping our usage at least because we're building less overall ships. Nova Belize now has 55 mines. Um, I would, would like a sector governor. Uh, can we even build a sector commander? We can't build a sector command. When we finish up with the island drives, we'll be considering that. Um, but Nova Belize, 55 mines, and then Basilisk is at nearly 100 automated mines. So that's mining 2,500 tons of resources. The problem is the stockpile situation is kind of in a bad, you know, bad, bad place. So we need, because we need these ships, and those ships will be done in February of next year. But I think that's what we're going to leave the episode off here. A lot of focus on forcing enemy back, reopening our shipping lane again, uh, getting our logistics back to a good place, continue to build up our ships. I think in next episode, based on what I'm seeing here, uh, we're going to have uh, three cruisers done, hopefully. We're going to have four Star 4 classes. We're going to have another four destroyer, uh, four frigates. We're going to have two more ODPs, and then we're also going to have those extra maintenance supplies. I'm going to be considering potentially going back and going and back to fight the Swarm. Because we will have another seven... We'll have 11 new military ships, um, and our military has really been rebuilding, though the costs and mineral crunches have been a real problem for us. But I'll see you guys next time. Please like, comment, subscribe, really, 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 really